Hey YouTube, this is Southern Prepper One. I am very thankful for all my subscribers. Um, you have given me the opportunity uh, to have a platform. You have also given me the opportunity and the honor and the privilege of being able to talk to people all over the United States. Um, and it, conversations range from overstepping government to gardening questions to prepping questions and all the newbies that say, man, where do I start? So I totally enjoy talking to them. And lately, I've been very busy talking to them, which I'm not complaining. I'd rather talk to you on the phone than try to type back and forth for days. Uh, it's so much easier to get uh, interaction right then and uh, hopefully can get more input. People say, do I need to get this or buy this? Um, and it's hard to say. I don't know where you live. I don't know how much money you have. I don't know your preps you've already done. So it's hard to recommend you spending money. Um, so it's easier to talk to you for five minutes and then I can, with a better better view of where you're coming from, say yes or no or hey, this is a better option. So that's why I like talking to people. Plus, um, you guys are Americans. You guys are the backbone of this country. You are the future of the country. Because, first of all, you're taking the initiative to protect yourself. You're taking the initiative to prepare for hard times. You're taking the initiative uh, to hopefully be a light in darkness. And it's an honor to talk to you guys. I've been talking to a lot of service members, a lot. Um, ones that have taken the jab, that didn't want to do the jab, but were coerced, were threatened, were forced. Yes, it's happening to soldiers, sailors, Marines, airmen, and Coast Guard. It's happening to you guys and gals. You're feeling the pressure. Uh, so I'm not going to be here to judge you because you got the jab. That is an individual thing in, inside the United States. I don't want you to get the jab because I feel uh, it could have some health issues. It's like playing Russian roulette. Uh, some of you might be fine. Uh, some of you immediately have effects. And then some of you are going to feel them down the road. Um, it's not that I don't want you to get protected. It's I feel it's not a good product. I think it was rushed. Um, but I've been talking to some service members. Um, I have permission from them to say this. I'm going to protect their identities. Uh, you'd have to waterboard me or start cutting my fingers off before I tell you who they are. Um, better not say that because our government would do that, actually. They have painted a picture for me that is bleak, much darker than I thought was possible. I had some faith. I thought I had some faith in the Marine Corps. Um, now, all you guys that are Marine retirees or you serve in the Marine Corps, I'm not downing you, so don't take this personally like I I'm offended. But I had faith in the Marine Corps. Um, I had less faith in the Army, definitely. I had a little bit more faith in the Army infantry guys. But what we've been producing from universities, what we've been producing from high schools, we are just pushing that segment of people into the military for whatever reason they join. Um, Yes, there's good guys. There's good gals that join these services. I know that. They're patriotic. They're there for a reason. But what I'm getting from a lot of people is they're there now. Um, and this is be enlisted uh, and a lot more officers. But they're there for a career. They're there. Um, he, he brought up ego. It's an ego booster. Uh, he also brought up some of these lieutenants going in there wanting to go up captain and major and then go into politics so there's many reasons why they're joining um, but the people I'm talking to said they're just a small percentage that will stand for the Constitution one uh, he's a Marine Corps officer I'll all I'll say and he was talking to a gunny in the field uh, and this gunny is basically said go along with the shot because you're a cog in the machine um, he brought up that yes he would be very willing and looking forward to taking care of the three percenters and and the militia types they don't stand a chance against us in the Marines now this was one gunny's uh, view but looking across the board of all the people I'm talking to the quality of people that we're pushing into the services are lower their mindset because they have been polluted by years and years of brainwashing in, in schools be it high school, be it college. It's, they're brainwashed. As you can see, our youth, um, the work ethic is not there. Uh, joining the military, they are not joining for the, the love of country as much. 
So it's bleak. It's bleaker than I thought. If, if I could get on a boat and pack my supplies up and sail off, uh, this place would be for sale immediately. But there is no place to go. There's nowhere. You can move inside the United States and that will help your cause. So if you live in an area that doesn't put the Constitution, family, God, uh, country, uh, a work ethic, an integrity ethic, uh, you need to move for sure inside the United States and get to an area where you have a fighting chance. My videos lately have been depressing, I guess, because I'm giving you the facts that I see them through my eyes. Um, my, my eyes are a little bit wider than yours because I can come in contact with more people. I, I do have connections with military, uh, even guys that I've served with. Most of the guys I've served with are all gone, they're out. Um, so it's hard to get fresh information, but right now I'm getting fresh information. A lot of guys that talk tough say, I'm not gonna get the jab. They got the jab, and I'm not here to judge them. Looking back, studying the history, I'm just trying to figure out, and I'm starting to understand it. I'm starting to understand it. Why uh, Germany Nazis would would put people in cattle cars and then take them to their deaths? Why would the average German? And I can talk freely about this because I am part German. Um, luckily. My side fought on the American side. My, my grandfather fought on the American side because he wasn't an American. Um, he received four Purple Hearts during the time. He was in before World War II started. Um, I can see now why people pushed people in cattle cars, took them to the showers, and gassed them. They were conditioned and it's sad to say and this is my opinion so you might disagree but there is a movement in the military where it might not happen tomorrow but down the road these people in the military would do us harm no questions asked none um and it it's a bleak picture i'm painting and i'm sorry i don't want to depress you uh, i want to encourage you um and maybe the encouragement is there's still a chance. There's still good people. Um, why, why is this happening to us? Why do we have to try to scratch and preserve the Constitution? I, I don't know. But it's coming to that point. Every day they're doing more to inflict pain upon the Constitution our, our leaders, be it Democrat or Republicans, and Democrats are probably worse, but the Republicans, they just stick it in our back. At least the Democrats stick it through my chest. Republicans stick it through my back. So, bleakness is here. The military is not coming to save us. It's going to be you. And I've, I've stressed it. It's going to be the plumber, the hairdresser, uh, the doctor, the guy that drives a semi. You are going to have to stand. It'd be nice if the Marines would say, hey, enough is enough. But after pretty much you become a major, you're a pawn to the system. You have to play the game. You will not move up. And, and that's what's happened. All the good guys are gotten out. I bet you only 2% of the military will be discharged because of the jab. 2% might be a tad higher if you take into account the guys that resign like when you're a senior officer you can resign or guys that said i am not re-upping i see this i'm not re-upping and, and they got out for that reason they would have probably re-upped i bet you there's a lot i'm wondering about re-enlistment is probably low i'm wondering about new people joining the military but if they're already brainwashed and they've already taken the vaccine to them it's not going to stop them so, bleakness is here, but the weekend is here. So I want you to do a few things this weekend. First of all, I want you to pray for yourself, your family, our country. I want you to love on your spouse and love on your kids. And if you got any time left, do a little prepping. If it's 30 minutes of re 
taking your water jugs that you keep full, dumping that old water out or reusing it on something, and then filling it back up. Or look at your pantry, move the cans around, make sure you get those old cans to the front, use those up. Or might just simply open the gun safe, get the old girl 12 gauge out and put some oil on it, make sure it's good to go. Thanks for watching.